Hi, I'm Megan, checking out the greatest venues in North Texas, and today we're at Hidden Creek. Hi, my name is Brett, and I am the venue manager here at Hidden Creek, and I'm so excited to show you around our venue today. Thanks for coming in and joining me. Absolutely. One special thing about us here at Hidden Creek is that we are a local family-owned company. We are the one and only venue that is owned by this family. We are family-owned and operated, and we truly treat all of our brides just like family. So we love to hear about your vision for your wedding day, helping you make it come true. All of our layouts are totally totally customizable. So however you see the table set up here in the ballroom, we can change those to long tables, farmhouse tables, different colored linen. These are our in-house centerpieces. So we can totally help you design the space however you envision that big day looking. So we are located in Heath, which is part of Rockwall County. We are just right outside of city limits. So we are just about five minutes away from like the harbor where there's hotel rooms, restaurants, all that kind of fun stuff. There's a grocery store just down the street, but we're still secluded enough that you don't hear any of the city noise. There's nothing within view of us. So when you get married here, you don't see any other businesses, but everything is nice and close by. Like I mentioned the Harbor, they have a Hilton Hotel, they have Spring Hill Suites. All of those are amazing and they partner with us as well, which is really nice. And there's transportation companies out here. So that's one of the benefits of being so close to the city is that Uber comes out here. So you can always have your guests Uber back to the hotels if they've been drinking a little too much. So here in the ballroom, one of my favorite features is the up lighting. You'll see it all around the room. It is different colors, which is really fun. So you can start out with white for your dinner, keep everything a little classy, a little dim lit, romantic. And then when the party starts, we can change those lights to be any color. So if you wanna go with like your Barbie pink that you love, or if you wanna do like a soft blue up lighting to be your something blue for the wedding, it just really incorporates your wedding colors and makes the ballroom glow. And then we do have our beautiful chandelier up here in the middle of the room. My favorite part is when the couple comes down the staircase for their grand entrance. They can stop right here underneath the chandelier and go straight into their first dance. Can you add greenery to the chandelier and up you above? You sure can, yes. I've actually had a couple do some greenery along the draping up there, which is really pretty. And then we do have our lovely barn doors up here at the front. So like I said, you can totally customize your layout. The couple that we have coming in for their wedding tomorrow is doing their sweetheart table here with the barn doors behind them. And they're gonna do some floral decor on those barn doors. Another fun option is to do your head table in front of the staircase. That is always a beautiful backdrop as well, especially if you do some greenery vines going up that staircase. And then you still have a nice large dance floor in the middle. We can host up to three 300 and still give you a good size dance floor. So what kind of drapery options do you have? We have so many drapery options. We can do the drape outside. We can do it on the barn doors, which is one of my favorites. But my absolute favorite is the ceiling draping that you see up right now. It just gives the softest, warmest touch to the room and it makes it a little bit more elegant, which is really nice with the wooden uh, barn look. So that way you get kind of that rustic, elegant feel together. So I've noticed you have a lot of rentals available here. Can you tell me a little bit more about those? Of course. So we have our greenery boxwood walls behind us, which are perfect because people can actually use them as a photo booth backdrop. So when they book y'all for the photo booth, then you can use our greenery walls as a backdrop. And it's also really fun to put them behind the cake table, especially if the couple has a neon sign that has their last name. That's always really fun. But if you don't wanna do a neon sign with your last name, we have some neon signs here. We have happily ever after and let's party. So you can do those behind the cake table 
or you can even use these as your seating chart and you can clip the table numbers with the names onto that. And then we also have our centerpieces. So you're gonna see that we have the tall, the short, and the candles. And then we have a whole brochure of in-house rentals. So we have a ton of different draping options. We have the centerpieces, neon signs, greenery walls, different cake tables. We have so much stuff that we can offer here in-house. And that just saves you a trip from having to go find rentals somewhere else. You can just get it all through us. Tell us about the bar option. Yeah, so the great thing about Hidden Creek is that we do allow you to bring your own alcohol. I always tell our couples, you can go to like Costco, buy in bulk, you can have a stock the bar party, however you wanna do it, you can just supply your own alcohol. We just require that you go with one of our three approved bartending companies to serve the alcohol to the guest because those companies are gonna be licensed and insured. That way they know what they're doing and everybody's gonna stay safe and have fun. We do already have an ice machine here on property so you don't have to worry about lugging around gallons of ice, going to the store all night long, restocking. We've got you covered there. So what do we have going on out here? So on this side, my favorite feature is our putting green. It is so much fun when the guys get ready that morning. They can be out here playing cornhole that we have, playing a little bit of putt-putt, drinking a couple beers. We all know that guys do not take more than 10, 15 minutes to get ready and girls are gonna be here all morning getting hair and makeup done. And then if you have any kids coming to the wedding, this is also a great spot to make your kids zone. So kids can be out here playing cornhole, putt-putt. You can put some little kid activities like Giant Jenga, Giant Connect Four, just fun games to keep the kids occupied during the wedding. I love it. So we, when we worked events out here, I've seen cocktail tables out here. Yeah, you're right. So one of the fun features we can do out here on this side is cocktail hour. So we can put tall cocktail tables and we have a portable bar that we can do up here on the patio. You can have tables spread out everywhere. So that way guests are getting a drink, hanging out at the tables. You can do past appetizers is really fun. So we love using this space as a cocktail hour. So now let's check out our groom's room. So the groom suite can hold all of the groomsmen. You've got a ton of lockers here for the guys to put their suits, hang them up. You don't want them getting wrinkled, put their shoes, all of their stuff in here. And then you've got the cornhole boards in here that you can set up in here or outside. And then you have your TV and an Xbox. And then they do have their little mini fridge so they can enjoy some beer, some whiskey on ice while they're hanging out getting ready. This is a really fun feature to the venue because when you finish your ceremony outside, you're gonna sneak around the back of the building, come up this way, and then do your green entrance into the reception. Wow, this view is amazing. This is my absolute favorite view of the entire property. I love it because when you come up that back staircase and you get ready for the green entrance, y'all are just gonna stand here at the top of the stairs, wave to your guests, everybody stands up and cheers, and then you'll hold hands as you walk down and do your green entrance. And it is just so special and so amazing to stand up here and see all of your family and friends standing and cheering for you. So come check out the bridal suite. So here in the bridal suite, it has its own private restroom with a shower and everything. So if you wanna get your hair washed and blown out that day, you have your full private bathroom. You have your beautiful makeup vanity with all of the lighting that you could possibly need. It is so bright and airy in here. <laughs> and you've got your couch, You've got your mini fridge, you've got a full length mirror and another full length mirror around the corner as well. So we are outside at our beautiful ceremony area, but on your way out there, you're gonna notice our fire pit. This is really fun, especially if you're getting married in the fall or winter months, because you can even do a s'mores bar out here. So after you've cut the cake inside, we can set you up with a fun little s'mores bar. It's also fun for guys just to grab a beer, girls grab a glass of wine, come hang out by the fire, get away from the music, and just have some conversation during the reception. 
And then you'll notice across the street, we have that stunning field with all of the green trees. It stays green all year round, stays beautiful like that. And that is my favorite photo spot. You get those really good veil shots. You know, the ones where the veils are blowing in the wind. That is the perfect spot for that. When you book with us, the couple gets to come out and do engagement photos here. And so if you want to bring your puppy dogs and have them be in your engagement photos, doing those in the twinkle lights are absolutely stunning. And then a lot of people end up putting those on their invitations. So that way people get a little glimpse of the twinkle lights that they're going to see on the wedding day. So these benches were handcrafted by a local veteran that we hired to make them. So not only being a family venue, but we do support our local veterans as well. We love the benches. They're so pretty. And then you'll notice that they do sit on turf. So that way girls and heels are not going to sink into mud. They're going to be nice and clean. Your dress won't get dirty out here. There is absolutely no mud with the turf, which is so nice. This is our outdoor ceremony area. This is truly the most unique feature of Hidden Creek. All of the twinkle lights, the benches, the turf, the outdoor arbor, all of it together is just so stunning and so magical, especially in the evening time. A lot of our brides like to do an evening ceremony right before sunset, so that way the twinkle lights really pop. And then it looks so gorgeous if you do a little bit of decor out here on this beam. Greenery is really pretty or a big floral piece in the middle, some draping, just jazz it up because the two of you are gonna step right up here and say your vows right here in the middle. What does a typical event day look like at Hidden Creek? Yeah, so the great thing about Hidden Creek is that we are completely customizable. I will tell you that there's really no two events that have ever been the exact same, which is nice. Some brides like to go ahead and do their special dances before dinner. Some like to do them after dinner. And that's the great thing about adding our coordination package is we will work with the brides to customize a timeline of the wedding day. So by adding our coordination page, we meet with the couple about a month before the wedding and we help them figure out, you know, do you want to do a first look? When do you want to dance with your parents? Do you want to save the top layer of your wedding cake? All the questions that you might have thought about but you aren't completely sure of your answers to, we're going to really deep dive and help you figure that out and create that detailed timeline for you. Obviously our primary events are weddings, but we also do a lot of quinceañeras, which are really fun. We love to see the birthday girls get all dressed up in their beautiful dresses. And then we also host a lot of corporate events. We do corporate retreats, especially being so close to the harbor. A lot of people will come here for their workshop days and then stay at the Hilton for the rest of their time here. So then they'll come over for a couple days and just do transportation back and forth. We also do a lot of corporate Christmas parties, which are really fun. Like we talked about the uplighting being red and green is always really pretty, especially if you wanna do like red and green linen is always really fun as well. So corporate events are definitely one that I love to host because they're always so much fun. So we have honestly a very wide range price here, which is great. We can accommodate almost every budget. So if you have a stricter budget, I would definitely recommend looking at weekdays. Those packages are gonna be the most affordable. Whereas if you have a little bit better of a budget, we can get you in on a Saturday and those are gonna be a little bit more expensive because obviously there's less Saturdays. <laughs> the client gets to pick their hours, which is really nice. So that way if they need to get in early for hair and makeup, they can totally get in early or if they wanna party late into the night, they can set their time frame to do that as well. Most of our clients like to get here early to get hair and makeup done, and the guys hang out outside on that putting green that we looked at, and so they can be out there playing putt-putt, getting ready, while the florist is in here decorating. I'll tell you that most florists, in my opinion, need about five hours to set up and decorate, is typically what we see here. So about five hours of getting hair and makeup done, having your florist decorate, adding any personal touches that you wanna do. A lot of times the brides like to send some personal decor for us to help them decorate with, like pictures or their cake cutting set, champagne flutes, um, a sign-in table, gift table, things like that that we're happy to help set up for you as well. And then after everybody is all set up and everybody is ready, usually the girls will go outside, they'll take pictures together, they'll come back in and we'll put them away. And then the guys will go outside, take their photos, and then they'll come back in and hide. And then depending on if the couple wants to do a first look or not, they'll go outside and do their first look together, which is always so fun. I love peeking out the window and trying to get a glimpse of them seeing each other for the first time. I love that moment. 
And then leading into the ceremony, they'll have the ceremony outside at our gazebo area. And then doing that cocktail hour, usually outside on one of the patios or even doing cocktail hour inside is always an option as well. And then they'll go into that grand entrance down the staircase, first dance, parent dances, will flow into dinner. And then usually after dinner is when they'll do toast, cake cutting, and then the DJ takes it from there and it's time to party the rest of the night away. And then they'll do the grand exit. My favorite is bubbles. That's what I did for my wedding. <laughs> A lot of people like to do sparklers as well. Totally up to them. And then we'll help them pack up everything and head on out. And then we've enjoyed the whole day together. So sparklers you're allowed to have? We do allow sparklers, yeah. We even um, allow fireworks. You have to go through one of our preferred vendor, but you can do fireworks. The big boom ones that go off in the air, we are one of the only venues that can do fireworks. So that's always a really special feature. We do have a list of preferred vendors. So you don't have to use those vendors. They're just people that we've worked with before and highly recommend, such as y'all's photo booth. <laughs> but we have DJs, photographers, transportation companies, hotels, any vendor that you could ever need is listed right there on our website. How easy. Yeah, we try to make it nice and easy for the brides. We know that the knot can get a little overwhelming whenever you're seeing that many vendors and you don't know who to trust and who to go to. So by having everybody on our website, we try to make it nice and easy for you. We've vetted them, we've worked with them, so we highly recommend and trust them. And then we do have in-house catering. And so we have a very wide range menu. So again, working with the client's budget. If you have a very limited budget, you know we can do like the turkey and ham sandwiches, which are really nice and still very elegant displayed. All the way up to that carving station with beef tenderloin, which is, oh my gosh, so good. If you ever come to one of our open houses, you have got to try the beef tenderloin. It is amazing. But yeah, we can definitely customize packages and work with you to fit almost every budget. In my experience as a photo booth owner, I know how important load in and load out is for getting my equipment inside in a very efficient manner. I love how your venue has so many access points. Can you expand upon that? Yeah, absolutely. So you'll see on the sides of the building, we have three sets of doors on each side. And then we do have our kitchen doors in the back, our back staircase door, and then even the front barn doors. There are so many doors to this building, which is really nice because then say you're arriving at the same time as the florist. You don't wanna be sharing one door with another vendor. And then the florist is trying to carry flowers. You're trying to carry the photo booth, your butting heads at the door and somebody's gonna drop something. Mm -hmm. So by having so many doors, we have made it more efficient for all the vendors to load in. We have ramps, there's not stairs, that way everybody can get in and get access to everything. And plenty of parking. Yes, our parking wraps all the way around the building. So you'll see it on that side where the putting green is, going all the way across the front, and then it keeps going down past the ceremony site. We're even zoned for parking on the street as well, so you do have that overflow. And then like I mentioned, Uber comes out here and there's those shuttle services. So if people plan on drinking, a lot of times they'll just Uber here anyway. Thank you so much for having us here today. Of course. So where can people reach out to you? Yeah, you can reach out to us on our website, hiddencreekevents.com. You can give us a call or you can always email us. You can also reach out to us through our social media, Hidden Creek Events on Instagram and Facebook. We have so many more amazing venues to tour, so you don't wanna miss out. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so much for joining into Venue Hunters.